I favor ending birthright citizenship for the kids of illegal immigrants in this country. But the part that just doesn't make any sense is both of his parents were also born in India, meaning that he also has birthright citizenship. So your father is not a citizen of the United States? He's not. Okay. And your mother, when did your mom take the citizenship test? Was it before or after you were born? After I was born. And liberals, he says, yes, they're going to lose their mind. No, they won't. But you know who will? You know who would? Your mama and your dad <laughs> who birthed your behind here illegally. Because you are exactly that person. He is a child of immigrants himself, and his father isn't even a U.S. citizen, but let's not get into that. So I went ahead and made a chart here to explain exactly who Vivek is talking about. So we start off with illegal migrants, those who do not enter through a legal port of entry. Think of those who scale the border wall and those that pay coyotes to smuggle them through the desert to avoid border patrol. Right above that, we have visa overstayers. Both visa overstayers and illegal migrants are undocumented, but the difference is an overstayer will have an I-95, which proves that they legally entered the United States through a port of entry. The next level above that is a tourist or student visa. This allows you to be in the United States, but not to work here. Above that, we have asylum seekers and those on a work visa. Both of them are allowed to be in the United States and to work here. Then we have temporary residence, which allows you to work and live here in the United States for an extended period of time. After about five years of being a temporary resident, you then qualify for permanent residency status. A permanent resident is someone who lives here permanently. It's in the name. You don't need any other status. You don't need to upgrade it. You don't need to downgrade it. You don't need to do anything. It gives you permission to live in the United States until you die to work here, to open a business here, to have a family here, to do whatever it is that you want to do while holding on to the citizenship of the country that you were born in. The step above that is citizenship or citizenship through naturalization, which means that if I'm from India and I come to the United States and I get permanent residency, I have the option to either keep my permanent residency indefinitely or I could renounce my Indian citizenship and get naturalized as a US citizen. Again, you do not need to do this. Which is why Vivek's mom chose to get naturalized and become a US citizen and his dad chooses to remain a permanent resident. At the time Vivek was born, both of his parents were permanent residents. So this guy is lying to your face. No, Vivek wasn't born here illegally. Even if the laws were changed to what Vivek wanted, he would still not be born here illegally. Vivek wants to end birthright citizenship for the parents of illegal migrants. His parents were permanent residents. Do you understand the difference between illegal migrants and permanent residents? It's very simple to understand. One is a permanent legal resident and the other is an illegal migrant. Vivek is the only one proposing this and he's polling in the single digits for Christ's sake. But not only is there a very small chance of Vivek getting elected to begin with, but once he gets elected, it's almost impossible to pass that type of legislation. So this is simple fear mongering. Enjoy your 1 million likes, I guess.